Good day, McVeigh, and happy Wednesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday book. Okay. Happy birthday today to Liana Zambazi in our kindergarten. And boys and girls, today our lunch is a cheeseburger or a hamburger. Of course, the egg chef salad, grilled cheese, or bagel. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed uh, using the Legos and the blocks in cafeteria A at lunch and all the new cool prizes in cafeteria B. And everybody will get a chance to try those things when it's their turn in cafeteria A or B. So today we're going to continue on with our study of South Africa. And don't forget, Thursday is our culture day. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be learning about the celebrations in South America. Like, for example, Carnival. Uh, and so, which is a wonderful celebration in that many countries in South America. And also, the celebrate, and also about some of the wonderful things that South America gives to the rest of the world. That will be how we finish out our study of South America on Friday. But today, we're going to do our last flag from South America. From a country... Uh, called Trinidad and Tobago. It's right there. You can't really see it. So what I did was I um, went to my atlas and I got a bigger picture of it. Here it is, Trinidad and Tobago, right here. Uh, and so what we have today is a super duper treat. So this project is also our Get Smart project today, but it's our flag studies. This is from Divya uh, and Sandia, and also Naveen Rampartap, the Par Rampartap family, I should have said. And this is a project on Trinidad and Tobago. So take a look at all the work they did, and they've also given us a flag. Take a look. Here's the flag of Trinidad and Tobago. So we're going to learn about that from the Rand Partap family. Okay. So you ready? Now listen carefully to this. This is about something called asphalt, which is what our roads are made of. We have asphalt roads, but asphalt is actually a natural resource, and it says the the World's largest deposit of asphalt is located in Trinidad. The lake occupies, which means takes up, nearly 100 acres and is about 250 feet deep. That is a very large space. So it's the world's largest deposit of asphalt. So nowhere else in the world can you find a greater amount of asphalt in one place. Now, Festivals. Now, I talked about carnival, but listen carefully to this because we know about this. We learned about this already. Trinidad and Tobago has a big celebration called Diwali. We learned about Diwali. And it's the, uh, the place where Diwali is celebrated the most in the Western Hemisphere. So we live in the Western Hemisphere, and then there's the Eastern Hemisphere where continents like Asia are, for example, in parts of Europe. So, although Diwali is a Hindu festival, the entire country enjoys the festival. Carnival is also a major event that is attended by thousands of tourists. So, a lot of people go there to celebrate Diwali. 
with them. Now, hmm, let's see. What we also uh, here, take a look right here. You know, see that picture and that they, they've actually done an illustration. Listen carefully. Nylon pool, it's shallow white ground coral pool that is located off uh, the coast of Tobago. The pool's waters have a different color than the rest of the ocean. So it's called nylon pool. Take a look. See, it has a different color and it's right off the coast of Tobago. If you were looking um, down from like a satellite view, you could see it. Uh, the color of the ocean goes from turquoise to clear. How cool is that? I've never seen it, but I've heard about it. Now, the flag. So you see, we have red, black, and white. Why? Well, black stands for the wealth of the land and the dedication of its people. White for the symbols of the sea surrounding the islands, which we talked about. Hmm. And the red uh, is really about the, um, the friendliness and the warmth of both the people and the sun uh, that Trinidad and Tobago are famous for. So how wonderful the sun and the warmth of the people red usually is considered a, a warm or a um, or like a hot color so fire we would think red so uh the flag like other countries was adopted when trinidad and tobago got their independence from the united kingdom you'll notice it does not have the union jack which is that, remember that symbol from Great Britain here, which means that they got their complete independence from the United Kingdom and Great Britain. So, I want to thank the Rampartak family for sharing this with us and for rounding out our flag study of South America and some of the countries. I hope that, boys and girls, we can get some more projects like this about different countries that your family is from because it helps us to understand the rest of the world and about the people all around us. So with that, very quickly, our culture character. This was who we had yesterday. Remember, we had dad from a, a country with a flag of these colors that also loves this food, which was Italy. And her, uh, this teacher's mom, it's from the country where that flag uh, is representative, and that is, of course, Germany. And this was Miss Hoskin. Today, here we go. Who is this? You ready? I am a tap dancer. I lived in London for a year and a half. I am half Russian. And half Italian. So that means we know this is the Russian flag because we already knew that this was the Italian flag. I love Starbucks and Golden Doodles. In my spare time, I enjoy hiking everywhere in New York. Who am I? I can think of some students who know who this is. Okay. So lastly, we have our mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. So boys and girls, I'm going to take a quote today from a person who used to be uh, on television that did a kid's show, Mr. Rogers, and he would say, there are three ways to success, Ooh, three ways to success. First way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. And the third way is to be kind, 100%. So uh, for uh, many uh, teachers might remember Mr. Rogers. He would come in from outside and he'd take off his jacket and he'd put on his indoor sweater. He'd take off his shoes and put on his slippers because he was indoors. 
But the message, boys and girls, about the way to be successful in anything is to be kind. And I mean that in every sense of anything. So, and we've talked about this a lot. When you're struggling with something, be kind to yourself. Instead of saying, oh, I can't do this. You say, you know what? I'm going to get this. I'm going to give it a try. That's being kind to yourself. But success in anything else is also through kindness. So if you're on a team, being kind to your teammates helps them all play better together and then therefore you're more successful. It applies to everything that we do in life. Success happens through kindness. So let's keep that in mind. Why? Because we are mighty kind, mighty minds, and that's what we do. We think about kindness all the time and how we can become more kind. And of course, boys and girls, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.